guys, it's 101R Smith, also known as Reggie Smith, and today I'm here to bring you the Gunpla Network, my review of the high grade Gundam Zerachiel. The building process was very simple. This is based on the HD Gundam Haru, and the Gundam Haru definitely shows. Technically, this kit is pushing on 10 years old, but I would say it's still somewhat ahead of some of the curves of modern high grades. The building process was very straightforward and it only took maybe about three hours at best. You want to be mindful of the navy blue. Since it's a very dark shade of blue, it will leave num marks a bit more easily than your gray or white. So you might want to spend a lot of your building time cleaning up those numbs very well. Otherwise, in terms of the building process, straightforward, quick and just very easy to pose and move around and to, to place the pieces where they need to be. The overall look of the Gundam Zerachiel is very menacing. It has the more antagonistic colors that you would see on a mobile suit. The dark navy blue, the grayish white, and a little bit of shades of pink and the the clear blue pieces really pop out even more than the green would have in the normal Harut. However, I find it kind of lacking, to be honest. I always felt the Harut was my least favorite Alleluia suit. I was more of a fan of Arios, and then I would put Kyrios in the second. Harut had cool gimmicks, but the look just didn't sit well. I actually had someone on Instagram tell me that this is basically a crappy Harut. And I don't necessarily agree with them, but I can see what they're talking about. I think this is more of a personal preference. Me, I'm not a big fan of the silhouette, but I do like the color scheme if that makes sense. Articulation is very standard for what you would expect on a high grade from the early 2010s. You're gonna get a single jointed elbow, you're gonna get one pair of hands, which are just holding hands, which are, it's a little disappointing. I feel like high grade should have dynamic hands at this point. But no, you just get two holding hands. You're gonna get decent amount of articulation on the neck. Really good articulation on the waist. You're gonna get a double ball jointed waist. However, that's gonna become a problem once you put on the backpack. The legs, unfortunately, you're not gonna get a double jointed knee due to the transformation gimmick, so that's gonna be a little bit lacking there. And the ankle articulation is fairly good, but that's also due in part to the transformation. If you're patient with it because of the legs are probably gonna be your most hindering factor, you can get it to pose fairly well. The accessories are definitely the strongest suit of the Gundam Zerachiel. You're gonna get this huge backpack in itself, which comes with a pair of sort of different weapons. You're gonna get the original GM gun blades or gun scissors that was from the original Harut, except instead of orange and clear green, you're gonna get navy blue and clear blue. Definitely look very menacing and you get a load of options. You can hold it as a gun, you could hold it as a GN bit like the Gundam Double Quanta, or you can open it up to the scissors like the original Harut would have in its MS form. You also are gonna get two B bazookas that get attached to the side of the backpack. And you can pose with them pretty well. They're really just three pieces slapped together, but while it's simplistic, it works great enough. Also, you're gonna get the GN cannons in the back of the backpack as well. However, the most part you'll be using that is for the transformation. So those accessories are really more for its two MS modes more than the Gundam itself. The fun factor of the Gundam Zerachio comes in the fact that it comes with not one, but two transformations. You're going to get the GN Sky Mode, which is pretty much the Harut's MS form from Awakening of the Trailblazer. It's a fairly simple transformation Thankfully, you're not going to be doing any pot parts forming in this part. It's very straightforward. It takes some time. Read the directions carefully. You are going to need a little bit of patience when it comes with the head. And it looks good on itself, but the kibble on the f back end doesn't look good. It just looks like a Gundam face planning. And for some people, transformation gimmicks aren't their favorite. I know for some people, 
they don't like Zeta, Wing, or any of Alleluia suits because the transformation just isn't integrated that well. And I'll admit that is a valid criticism when it comes to the GN Sky mode. However, when you get to the GN Bull mode, I can't describe it for some reason. I feel this was my more favorite of its two alternate forms. Yeah, it's just flipping the back binders behind it, but it works so much better than the GN Sky formation. I And the kibble isn't as noticeable for me, but that's also due to personal preference. That might not be a factor for you, but I just found that the GN Bull mode was more enticing to me as a builder than the GN Sky. And that's weird because it's supposed to be a flying MS, so that's, that's perplexing and odd. But I prefer the ground mode. From my final thoughts on the Gundam Zeracchio is, it's a fun kit. If you're into Gundam 00 and you want something more, I think the Gundam Zeracchio will fit your appetite very well. It's a simple build, you get to have a ton of accessories, and you even get an action stand, which not a lot of kits come with that, but thankfully Bandai knew going into it that it probably needs a stand because it has two alternate modes that work. However, I find that you might not like the stand that comes with it. It can be a little weak and the connection, you might want to get a traditional action base, but that's up to you. I feel like this is a really good package. You're only going to be paying at best $25 for it. And it's a good kit. You might like not like the color scheme, but I think it works. I was somewhat tempted to turn it back to the Harut colors, but I feel it was more appropriate to keep the original color scheme for this kit, so I didn't paint it at all. But it's a fun little kit, and I think you would enjoy it. And I definitely say, maybe don't rush to go get it. This isn't an, this, I could, I think the Zeracula isn't, I need this now, but it's more, hey, this is cool, maybe I need this. It's a nice little kit, and I think you will all enjoy it. And I definitely say, take your time to pick it up, but when you go pick it up, you won't be disappointed. This is 101R Smith, and I will see you later.